Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'd like to go over a Hearts of Iron 4 Man the Guns event and decision, Plan Z. So Plan Z is not a new event and decision. It was new to Hearts of Iron 4 Waking the Tiger. And basically you get it after going down the naval focus tree here to Plan Z. And once you get Plan Z, an event appears under the queue over here. And it basically tells you that if you build four carriers, ten battleships, three battle cruisers, twenty heavy cruisers, twenty light cruisers, and a hundred destroyers, uh, you will complete Plan Z. And it says naval buildup on it. And basically, after you complete uh, this naval buildup, you get 5% war support and 150 naval experience. So what's nice is that the naval experience can be used to upgrade ships and also boost your research and man the guns. So Plan Z got a little bit of a buff and if you're under the naval research section here if you spend 50 experience naval experience you get 150 percent bonus uh, f for researching like hulls and things like that it doesn't appear to affect researching the type of naval vessel that uh, if you want to upgrade like a overall type of naval vessel the other thing it does is if you spend a hundred navy experience it gives you a hundred percent bonus for research for your naval doctrines one way of completing Plan Z a little quicker is if you invade France and you get the Case Anton uh, event and decision, you'll get the, South, the Vichy France Navy and that'll basically uh, help you out with Plan Z because you're given uh, Vichy France's like battleships and uh, things like that. So it'll get you there a little quicker. Uh, what I did is I had to construct a lot of naval dockyards here and I even invaded Poland and got Lithuanians, Lithuania's Mamel in order to increase my coastline here so I could build more naval dockyards. It took me till May of 1941 playing on Elite Iron Man mode with historical AI to complete Plan Z. So it seems to me like it's still not really worth it. I was kind of interested to see if it would decrease my fuel reserve significantly. But since it's such a massive fleet and World War II has kicked off, uh, the English Navy actually hasn't challenged me. So in that event, like I have orders here in the English Channel in the East North Sea, uh, strike force orders. And it looks like my Navy's not really using that much fuel right now. If they were to get into an engagement, uh, the fuel consumption goes up quite a bit per day in the thousands. But it doesn't look like the English Navy is, is contesting me. I could probably do an Operation Sea Lion in this situation. However, my ground forces are not that strong. And I didn't invade France or the Low Countries yet. So that's all. No real uh, major changes to Plan Z. I still don't think it's that viable and it's not that worth getting it. But you would have a huge navy afterwards. But this doesn't help you like conquer Russia or like France or anything like that because I have a really weak army. So it's like a trade-off. So thanks for watching my video. If you enjoy this sort of content, Please like and subscribe and leave me a content uh, comment below and I will see you on the next one.